Hello dear Capricorn and welcome to your birthday month reading. A very happy birthday to you my dear Capricorn. May this year bring you a lot of blessings, prosperity, love, light, joy and peace. And may you evolve spiritually to a higher level this month. That's my wish for you my dear Capricorns. Very very happy birthday to you. My dear Capricorn, if you're new to my channel, I suggest you please do subscribe so that you're notified every time I release a new video. So let's get started. Let's see what's in for Capricorn. They're starting their birthday month very well with a lot of movement. A lot of changes coming in. My dear Capricorn, for you, positive changes. This is what I see. A lot of movement. I see a lot of um, running around. <laughs> Running around for a good cause, running around for uh, your success, your progress. Because for me, running around here is in the terms of progress, okay? So there is a progress that is happening over here. Material progress, uh, sentimental progress is happening over here. Then I also see the um, health-wise also. If you were having any problems, my dear Capricorns, things have been taken very good care of. You're finding a good... Um, a good doctor, a good therapist, uh, you know, uh, a good uh, guide, um, a good, good nutritionist. This is what I'm seeing for Capricorns in the first week. All in all is a very positive energy. Some short distance travels are also seen for Capricorns, provided you are not under the lockdown, because I see a lot of lockdown energy over here <laughs> in January. Yeah, but it doesn't matter now, we are used to it and now it doesn't change much, right? Of course, um, on certain things it does change <laughs> because uh, man is a social animal and we have to mix, we have to speak to people. But then, if it's like that, it's like that. We have to accept it, we have to be patient and it will go away. But anyway, here I am seeing a bit of short distance travel energies for you. Uh, uh, travel being undertaken by some of you for your work purpose. This is what I am seeing. Then we go to the second week and what is the second week about well a wonderful masculine loving masculine energy this can be your father this can be your brother a very good friend it can also be your husband uh, it can be your boss also who is very very kind this person is very kind this person is here to help you my dear Capricorn this is what I'm seeing this person is um, bringing something on the table uh, with a lot of um, love, with a lot of um, honesty and loyalty, all right. And I'm also seeing that uh, the Capricorn energy for the second week is about having a dialogue with your father. If you have been having some kind of, you know, issues with your father, then I'm seeing that in the second week, my dear Capricorn, uh, you are having um, some kind of very deep dialogue. Uh, with your father he's going to provide you some kind of solution or with your grandfather it can be you know it's a person in authority but very good or it is simply being very nice to your partner uh, in the second week or finding a new friend you come across a new person uh, especially for single Capricorn ladies uh, somebody is coming to you in the second week you are getting in touch with them uh, maybe through social media maybe through your work uh, but this person is very, very kind. This is what I'm seeing. And this person is here to help you. So this is the energy of help coming through a genuine uh, masculine figure in your life, my dear Capricorn. This is the second week. All right. It's all about love also over here. There is love coming in through them. And, you know, you can be assured that this person is not going to harm me in any way. You can trust the person, my dear Capricorn. And then the third week. It's a challenging week, but you know what? So many swords are given to you. So you can just take one out every time and you can just chop away the challenges. Here I go, here I go, and then that's it. Here you win. Okay, so you are going to overcome uh, these challenging energies of the third week, my dear Capricorn, with your wonderful perseverance and your fighting spirit over here. You don't like to give up, right? No matter how timid you show to the world. But inside of you, you are a fighter. You will fight with your energy, which is very, you know, that perseverance that is inside of you in the third week. And you will overcome those challenges. Whatever this challenging energy is coming to you, my dear Capricorn, I am seeing that you are overcoming it and you are 
uh, rising about the problems and coming triumph. I mean, becoming victorious, triumphant at the end of this at the end of this episode. Whatever happens in the third week, um, I see more. They can be something related to papers. They can be something related to your loved ones that can come up, or you know, simply that. You wanted to do something in a particular way and it has not worked out. So you will have to change your approach. There can be a confrontation with someone, but you will manage it in the way you change your approach and you uh, address the problem. That will make you the winner. So don't get worked up in the third week. You're going to be a bit tired. This is what I see also over here. But no problem, my dear Capricorn. You're going to handle it pretty well because you know what? This is your birthday month. And in the birthday month, God is giving you lots and lots of energy where you can, you know, like really deal with it so well that you don't have to worry for anything. You have it all inside. The reservoir is inside there. So no matter what challenges arise, uh, deal with them with your, you know, fighting spirit. But fighting doesn't mean wasting your energy. Fighting means with your wisdom that you have collected all these years my dear Capricorn because now the baby Capricorn is going to grow up yes <laughs> and then we go to the last week the last week expect a slow energy expect some delays all right uh, this is the energy of delay my dear my dear Capricorn I'm seeing a kind of a energy of delay in the last week and um, if you wanted to you know trigger some process or trigger a kind of a project very fast you wanted the results of something you will have to go slow very very slow because these are the energies analyze them re-looking of some things are going to happen you're going to analyze certain things you're going to see that oh is this good is it not good all right so uh, it will give you the time to sit back and reflect of what you really really want to do I really like this energy sometimes, you know, which force us to, 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 to stop and to reflect like, is this the way I want to go? Uh, is this the person I want to be with? Is this the job that I want? Is it really making me happy? You know, ask those questions to yourself. Is this a good project for me? Yeah. Is it just for money that I'm doing it? But then that project doesn't really interest me. The job doesn't really interest me, yeah. But sometimes, yes, of course, I understand if you're the only bread owner, then we have to, you know, make compromises. But at the end of the day, it's about you and your happiness also. So ask yourself, what makes me happy? How can I make my life more happier? Yeah, how can I enjoy my job? Even if it's such a rut, how can I enjoy my job? And then find ways to make it beautiful, yeah. It's like, you know, ladies, uh, of course, men also, nowadays everybody cooks. So sometimes, you know, I really feel that, and I'm like, oh, every day you're cooking, you know. And then you just get bored of like, oh, I'm lacking inspiration too. Because every day the question is, what am I going to cook today, <laughs> right? So the thing is that, oh, so how do I do it? Like, you know, you change something. Okay, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do this differently. And then you start doing things differently, and then you start enjoying those things. So the same thing, you do it differently and you enjoy it. So this is what the last week is going to be about. It's like, okay, there are delays. So you want to see certain things happen and now you want to do it differently. So the moment you start doing it differently, you will enjoy that process. Look at children, you know, <laughs> how they do. They will just, you know, run around and they'll be happy for no reason at all. Just I've seen, you know, like sometimes I go walking here and there's just a school nearby. So there are the kids, you know, who will be there. And these are like maybe three, four years old kids, you know, and they're just running, you know, and like, hey, they are running, you know. And then one of them will bend down and just take a stone, you know, they'll find something. And then they all will come close to the person to see, like, you know, what this person has found, you know. And then, and then they'll be, hey, and, you know, they're just like laughing and running around, you know, for happy for no reason. Just for little, little things, you know. So that we will have to learn now. Just be happy for no reason. Okay, delays. I'm enjoying my break and I'm going to reanalyze everything. And I'm going to wait that it, you know, it's going to get sorted out. Okay, there's a lockdown. I'm going to sit at home. I'm still working. Okay, if I don't have a job, well, I'm going to plan like uh, what, what am I good at? What, am, what do I have to give to the world? And I'm going to try to do that. 
Yes, my dear Capricorn. So this is the energy that we will have to deal with in the last week, my dear Capricorn. So here we come to the end of our reading for your birthday month. So enjoy your birthday, enjoy your nice cake and a nice party and lots of love from my side to you and uh, enjoy your coming year. All right. So thank you very much, my dear Capricorn. And please do like, share and comment and I shall see you next month. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye.